I'm attempting to master this epic banger using nothing but a pair of, well, they're in my ears, AirPods. Are you going home? Now, you guys have been asking, this song is Going Home featuring Jade Alice, and it's by my good friend Morning Maxwell. He's actually currently traveling through New York City for the next few months, so if you're around New York City, slide in his DMs and connect, because he is an incredible artist, producer, just super talented and nice guy. So, let's take a listen to this. Straight off the bat, I've got the speakers cranked, and when I'm listening to EDM or dance music or any form of electronic music, I want it to be freaking loud. Um, this isn't super loud, and the AirPods are at like 90 something percent. So, okay, that's fair enough. That's just a personal sort of thing. Let's have a listen. Let's bring the clipper in. Are you going on? I can only hear the distortion after I'm about 12 decibels down um, in the clipping. So I'm going to be a bit conservative and set this slightly softer because um, it's not until I, it's really audible that you hear it. Otherwise, it's pretty clean, um, which I know isn't the case because typically when I'm on my main monitors and I'm clipping, the first thing to break up are the subs and I hear it just subtly breaking up. But in the AirPods, nothing. It just stays clean until it goes fucking crazy. Actually, I'm hearing nice detail in the top end when I turn that clipper off. I am losing a little bit of that detail, so I'm going to just dial this back just a smidge. I'm going to bring that down to six and see if I can still hear a change there. It's not doing much at six. Let's try eight. I just want to get a little bit of clipping, but not completely kill all the transients. I think that's a good middle ground. I think it's still taking a bit of the transients from what I'm hearing in the AirPods. But in the same respect, I can't hear any, like the amount of harmonics or distortion coming through from any clipping I'm not getting on the AirPods. So I don't really get that level of detail. Um, but I'm going to take another listen because whilst I've using the clipper to give me an even level, what I'm noticing is the detail or the punch in the kick is quite forward and the drone of the bass is sitting back a little bit. I and mean, I'm not sure if that's because of the AirPods or the actual mix, because it's been months since I actually worked on this mix um, in the session. So let's have a, a think and a listen, because I think I might use Dyn 1 um, and just focus on those low mids and blending in a compressed signal of those low mids into it. I like that. I like that. That That's just giving a little bit more weight to that drone, which the AirPods need. I'm not sure it's because the AirPods are scooped. I'm losing a little bit of that mid-range, and I need to boost it, at least the low mids back up with the Dyn 1, but it helps clear that up. or well, not clear it. It makes it feel a little bit more filled out, if that makes sense. Uh, let's think overall EQ.
hearing quite a bit of this frequency here in the AirPods. Now, I'm not trying to EQ for the AirPods. I'm just trying to go off my listening sensibilities and to think, well, if I'm if if I'm monitoring quite a bit of sub here, um, do I is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Is it tasteful? At the moment, it's probably a hair too full in those subs based on what I'm hearing on the AirPods. So I'm just going to bring that down half a decibel. I think that's a good sense of depth there. I know it's only half a dB and it's so subtle, but on the AirPods, I can hear that very clearly, that half dB just pulling back a little bit there, allows the kick to sit a little bit more neutrally with all the other subs and bass energy around there. Uh, let's have another listen. I'm not going to A-B this with the original master, but I am going to A-B it with the mix without any processing. Let's have another listen. Big level difference. Uh, how much did I bring it up? Two decibels there. Let me bring it down two decibels here. The upper mids feel like they're sitting back and the mid range is a little bit forward on the overall mix. Again, this is what I'm hearing in the AirPods. It might not necessarily be the case with what you're hearing, but this is what the AirPods are telling me. Um, and I reckon if we bring that honkiness in the mid range down half a dB and the upper mids with a wide cue up, so we get a nice sheen to the vocals overall, um, that will be quite a pleasant change to make for the overall mix. Let's have another listen. I like that. Very subtle differences at the moment because I'm not feeling super confident with the AirPods and sort of what they're what they're doing. Um, what am I going to do now? I think we're going to go. Let's go Ozone Ten, just because there's a good tool set in Ozone to go ham if I need be. What are we going to start with? The EQ I'm pretty happy with. Let's have another listen. Maybe you don't have to do anything. It might just be perfect. Let's have another listen. You know what? I'm just not happy with the upper mids. And, EQ and Ozone 10 is not going to help me with that right now. I reckon some upward compression just for those upper mids will help. Just it's just It's just not getting in my face as much as I want it to. Let's have another listen to this.
know what's giving that vocal that that weird it's almost feels like there's something covering it it's this low mid um but like parallel compression we did for the bass it's sort of capturing a bit of that lowest um frequency content of the vocals and i don't like that at all do not like that you hear that it's just that that nose of the vocal Let's bring it down that's better that's better that 600 400 600 hertz in the vocal was just coming out way too much i thought it was higher up um, which I can probably pull that back now. I know it's not that because that's what this EQ move was here for. Bit of tail chasing here. I like that. I actually like that quite a lot. Um, I'm going to go Excite up. I just want to get some harmonics uh, generated from the low end, but in those low mid registers, only because um, I think I've lost a little bit of weight overall to it. I don't know why, just that's what my ears telling me at the moment, or the AirPods are telling me at the moment. Let's have another listen. I like that balance. I actually like it a lot. Um, still can't use meters. Going to be using my ears here. Um, I like that balance. If we go before and after, it's, it's it's in a good pocket. I think I can apply some final limiting to it. All right, let's get the maximizer out. I love the maximizer. It's just so bloody good. We're going to go transient. Soft clip. I don't know if we do any soft clipping yet. Let's just get a feel for how things are. Let's just level match that. Let's have a listen. There is a lot I do not like about this. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about this. I guess it's too loud. It's just squashing things really badly. <laughs>
Now that's definitely a better pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the original master. I really want to see how this stacks up to the original master. Now we've got this in. So let's have a listen to the AirPod master versus the actual master. Are you going home? Are you going home? I don't want to be all on my own. Are you going? Are you going home? I don't want to be always on my own. Are you going home? Are you going, going home? I don't want to be all on my own. Are you going? Are you going home? I don't want to be always on my own. It's it's safe to say the AirPod Master there there are some flaws the the kick drum the focus of the kick drum is a little bit higher up um, in terms of compensating for things with the upward compression on the low mids which I decided to do based on what I was hearing and the exciter as well um, it refocus that kick drum higher up whereas there's more extension naturally even though I'm listening on the AirPods um, now I can hear it. As a finished master, the, the finished one has much more balance all the way down. There's more detail in the way um, the dynamics are and the little articulation in the claps and the hits and snaps. So what can I make of the AirPods? Well, here's the thing. I would have been mixing on them. Um, one of the biggest flaws were, were there just wasn't enough power to drive the energy for this track when I started. I wanted to crank it loud and I just couldn't on these to get a feel of things. The other thing is... There must be some sort of DSP limiting in these because um, when I was listening to the master, I had it turned all the way up. It limited the low end. There was like no sub anymore once it was super loud. It was just like, yeah, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna damage your ears. Us at Apple care about liability and lawsuits, so we're gonna put a, some sort of DSP in this. So, ch depending on how loud you're listening to things, changes the tone of what you're hearing in these, which is um. I don't know if that's, like, you, you can't master on these. I don't know, how, like, you just can't, period. You just cannot master. And then also the way they're seated in your ear. Are they seated flush? I was playing with them a lot because I'm like, ooh, this this ear is like, it's sort of half fallen out and sounding a bit weird. So, cool experiment. Um, I don't know, man. Like, that's, the, that's an experiment. That's what it is for. Could I quickly mix something on these? I couldn't trust them, no. I did get them to listen to my Dolby Atmos mixes on like a consumer would in spatial audio. Would I mix spatial audio on this? No, I just, I think they're great listening for leisurely stuff, but outside of le 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 leisurely listening, they fall pretty short in terms of a usable tool um, for an audio professional. So there you have it. That's my review. AirPod Pros. Uh... I give them a solid 3.2 out of 10 for audio production and for leisurely listening. I'd give them a solid 7.6. I think they're really, I, I, these are my daily drivers at the moment to the gym and they sound pretty good. So there you have it. Until next time, take care.